what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co you want to start a candle business this year i know many of you do but you're probably wondering how the heck am i going to stand out in fact i've gotten questions about that all the time like paris how you know do i stand out how do i be unique amongst all these candle makers and sellers out here what do i do well today i got some helpful tips for you we are going to talk about starting a candle business but standing out amongst the crowd so let's just get started so if you couldn't tell i'm filming in a different angle <laughs> i'm still in the same area i normally film this way but i'm filming this way for all my candle makers out there all of this below the camera is chaos <laughs> right and so i said but i'm not gonna let that stop me from filming <laughs> we just gonna raise it up a little bit so they can't see all the noise that's going on with rebranding y'all but we're, we're making it through again today i want to help you encourage you and reassure you that you absolutely can start a candle business this year despite how many of us there are out here yes candles it is a saturated market okay candles are lit you see what i did there <laughs> candles are lit it is a lit market <laughs> it's popping but you absolutely can stand out you absolutely can have and build a unique business tip number one tell your story and connect it with a mission. I'm not saying you have to feed the children with 10% of your profits and all that. I'm not saying all that. But one of the first things I do teach my students is you need to really, really discover your true connection with the craft, right? And build your story upon that. Why did you start making candles? Who do you wanna serve? Who do you want to touch with your candle, uh, with your scents, right? And your candles. Um, what what are you trying to reclaim with with your mission or with your business? What do you want to build? What do you want your business to stand for? What is the foundation? Why did you start? Really, really dig in and discover your true connection with the craft, right? For some, it's it's relaxing and calming, but candles relax and calm everybody. So you have to dig a little deeper, like. For me, you all know my story. It helps me combat postpartum anxiety. And I still deal with anxiety as a regular um, young woman, but it, it really truly gave me a healing. And I'm not saying your story has to be tear jerking or, or anything, but there there is something unique about you. There is something unique about your journey. We all have a journey. We all have a story. We all have something that has brought us to this point in our life. And so you picked up the hobby of making candles for a reason. So I want to encourage you to truly, truly figure out and discover what about the craft can resonate with your customers. I always tell my um, students or anyone that's asked me, your customers can feel your energy and get a taste of your vibe through your social media feed, through your storefront on the website, and through your your customer service, and through your, your website pages. They get a vibe of the owner through all of those different mediums. And so you have to figure out how you want to be perceived from your customers. So tip number one, discover your true connection with the craft, tell your story, and connect it with the mission. Tip number two, build a true customer experience. I'm not just talking about customer service and when they email you, you reply within 48 hours. I mean, still do that. But I'm talking really, really figure out how you can build a true customer experience when they shop with you in your product line, right? So let me give you a few examples. So I have Lady C perks scent perks right on my website so i am fostering loyalty i want them to become a part of the lady c tribe right i want them to um want to build a community through empowerment and inspiration and and build a community among women who've battled postpartum anxiety through my empowering sense right and so with my scent perks they can join the club and I reward them for everything. Birthdays, um, they get 
points. Um, if they buy, if they spend so much money, they get points, right? If they follow me on social media, they get points. And so I'm building and fostering a sort of like a tribe with my loyalty program. Another example is do like a fragrance quiz or some type of opt-in form or some type of pop-up form that will entice them to want to, you know, be a part of your community, be a part of what you're offering, right? And so they can get exclusive discounts and exclusive um, promotions and they're the first to know when a new scent drop and maybe they get exclusive access to that scent for a certain period of time, right? Send out interesting weekly newsletters and educate them about um, different ways that they can use their candles or your scents or I don't know, do a self-care Saturday and go live, right? And invite all your, you know, following to join you on your live and do a self-care Saturday. And then um, if they, you know, buy a candle, they get a mini free for their self-care Saturday or, or what have you. There's there's ways to foster a loyalty. There's way to foster um, building a community and building a tribe with your business. And so with that, there are three ways to kind of begin to foster. Of course, finding your customers, right? Targeting your drawing them in. So you can use the examples I just named, right? And so with those examples, you've drawn them in with your story. Now they're opting into your store. They're checking it out. They're seeing what you're about. They're reading about the owner and learning about what sense you offer. Now you've enticed them and you've drawn them into your story. They connect and resonate with you. Boom. Step number two, you close them. You close them with the sale. They end up purchasing a candle or a wax melt. And maybe they get, you know, they buy three, they get one free or something. And so now you you have them as a customer. Now, step number three, you got to keep them. You can get a customer, but how are you going to keep them? Keep them. And so that's how you continue to nurture your email list, nurture them with exclusive perks. Give them a reason to want to shop. <laughs> Give them a reason to want to rack up some points. And so there's tons of marketing and um, social, um, tons of marketing and advertising ways that you can begin to draw in um, your customer. Talk their language. You know, social media. Again, go live. Connect with them. Um, you know, do something to make them feel like they're a part of your exclusive family. Another example is following up with them. You know, if your store has analytics and metrics where you can go back in and see what customers haven't you heard from in three months or six months, right? Um, and follow up, send an email. Um, there's a way you can email through the back end of your store. I know Shopify has that feature or just use your business email and copy and paste their email in there and say, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. Um, what's going on? This is the latest sense or what have you. You can create you know, there's usually templates and things like that in the back end of your store that you can create and shoot them a holler and see what's going on. Either way, just make them feel like you care um, because they supported you, your, your mission, your story and your products. Tip number three, let's begin to foster that digital presence. This is kind of twofold, one being on your social media and one being off your social media. One off your social media because you just don't want to focus on your account and what you're doing and your business and your posts. It wouldn't be social media if you wasn't supposed to socialize. And so you definitely want to deviate from your page every now and then and get in front of your customers, see who they're following, see who they're attracted to. And then when you see where they're going, kind of study and look at that person that they're following or that other candle maker or seller that they're in front of and see see what it is see how their feet is see what kind of posts they're doing and you know i taught my students in my course it's not stalking but you definitely want to check out your competition <laughs> and see you know see what is attractive um, from your customer's perspective and then and then interact right don't let's not be a hater let's interact and um get your name out there and stay in front of your customer space right and on top of that, just network, right? 
be sociable, connect with other people, other candle makers and sellers. And who knows, you know, you may pick up a tip or two, you'll learn a few things, maybe you'll get a few ideas not to copy or, or to imitate, but just, you know, to kind of make it your own and put your own personal spin on it. Um, especially if you see that your customers are, or your target audience is kind of attracted to that type of post. So you definitely want to deviate from your page every now and then and get out there and socialize. And for all my introverts, I feel you. I am an introvert too. <laughs> and sometimes it can be very, very uncomfortable. Um, but you just have to go for it and put yourself out there. The other fold of this is your digital presence on your accounts, right? And so you want to, when it, especially when it comes to branding, you want to think about your theme and your colors and what type of content you want to post and how you want to talk your customer's language, um, you know, and, and weave in, you know, your personal life, you know, with your business. So that way they can get a taste of who you are as an owner, but also see um, the products that they love. And so you definitely want to keep that in mind when you're creating your content. Create content with intention, right? You want to reel your customers in and then keep them. You want to keep them interested in what you're doing and what you're posting. And so be very intentional when it comes to your digital presence. Tip number four, develop a unique product line. I taught my students that and now I am sharing that tip with you. Develop a unique product line. Figure out what you can offer product-wise, tangible, um, from a tangible perspective and create that unique. It could be unique vessels, right? It could be the stationery that you supply in each order. It could be free samples of another scent in each order that you can include, right? And so you want to figure out a way that your product line can stand out. Maybe... Um, you know, change the names of the, you know, from the scents and create unique candle names that may resonate with your target audience. Let's say you have, uh, you're a pet lover, but you love making candles. And so build a product line around fun dog terms or fun pet terms or animal terms that you know your target audience who loves animals or love dogs and cats, they will resonate with that, right? Um, another another way to stand out um, in terms of your product line is your photography and your product pictures, right? There's tons of presets and things out there that can assist you with your product photography. Look, I still use my cell phone for my product photography. <laughs> Get you a preset and, um, you know, download apps, photography apps such as the Lightroom app and, you know, kind of, you know, discover how you can edit your pictures and make them look seamless, uniform, um, but yet unique and exceptional because that's very, very attractive on social media and on your website. It's very eye-catching and pleasing to the eye. So that's another way to stand out. Basically with this tip, if your candle was put up against 50 other candles, would yours stand out, right? And I know you're just like, man, I feel like everybody's maybe using the same jars and everybody's doing the matte black jars or everybody has clear containers. Yes, that's very true, but maybe your candles are, are colored. I know I do not use color in my candles. However, my product line and the sense that I offer literally take my customers through a story. And um, I kind of explain that and walk them through that on my website. So there is a way <laughs> that you can put your personal spin on it to connect with your customers. Lastly, number five, create unique scents, right? Create a unique signature candle line, okay? There's a way that you can do that. I actually just did a YouTube video. I'll link it here in the cards. How to do fragrance blending and how to create, you know, basic formulas and ratios that you can use to create a unique scent that a customer can't find anywhere else. And maybe it's like a limited edition, right? So where they want to get their hands on it, or maybe your entire, you know, line is a unique line, or that could be a collection, right? So you have your product line, and then maybe this is like, you know, a separate connection of unique blends of citrus and musk and you know what have you you can put the words and and make it super enticing and engaging and create a whole collection behind it and give it a theme and give it a mission or something that it stands for and make it unique and promote that as well so there are ways guys that despite how many candle makers and sellers out here including myself 
There is a way that you can stand out amongst the crowd. I don't want you to get discouraged from wanting to start a business just because there's so many of us out here. We're from all over the world, candle makers, okay? We're from all over the world. There is a customer for everybody. You just gotta find them, talk their language, target that audience, and you know, wrap around your marketing and advertising to cater to that audience and just continue to nurture and foster them and it is absolutely a way to be successful as a candle maker and seller. So those are my tips for you today. I hope that has helped you in some way and has encouraged you, especially this year, because I know so many of you are starting your businesses. And so thank you so much for watching this video. Before you go, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your notification bells on so that you know when I am posting a video also, make sure you are following me on social media at Lady C's Digital HQ. That is on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, bye.